Should I use a nominee? Um, that is a very good question, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But first, a disclaimer, a little cover my own ass. This presentation is prepared for education purposes only. This presentation is not legal or tax advice, nor is it to be construed as such. Each individual circumstances are different. You should seek legal and or tax advice to address any specific questions you may have. So before we get into whether or not you should use a nominee, let's look at what a nominee is. A nominee is a person or organization named to act on behalf of somebody else. So a nominee is basically like, rather than you going and doing something in your own name, you say, hey, Jimmy, you know, will, will you go buy me a bag of chips, right? So I'm your nominee, right? I'm buying the chips on your behalf. I'm not doing it, not buying chips for myself, I'm doing it for you, right? So, so a nominee is basically like an agent, it's somebody who's doing something in your name, but in reality, they're doing it for your benefit, right? And so what prompted me to make this video is I got a call from this dude last week or the week before, and he was telling me about this harebrained tax evasion scheme that he thought was completely legal, and what he wanted to do was basically set up a company in an island jurisdiction and then pay invoices to it for phantom services from the country, from his company in the country where he lived. And, um, you know, I told him, I said, well, that's not really going to give you any tax benefit because the country where you live is going to have insight that you own this company in the, this other country. And because of the controlled foreign corporation rules, not only are you going to have to report it, but you're going to have to pay tax on it. And he goes, oh, no, 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 no. You know, there's these guys, nominees, that you can hire to own the company on your behalf and do the bank account so nobody will ever know. Needless to say, I didn't do business with this dude because it's just tax evasion, right? You can't, you can't do that. So just because you have it owned by somebody else, you're still the beneficial owner of it. That other person doesn't own it in their own right. They own it on your behalf. So the question is, should I use a nominee? No. Why not? Because you're still the beneficial owner, right? You can, get, now I'm not saying, and I'm gonna go over this in a minute. There are some very unique situations where a nominee can be useful but you still have to report the activity that was done by the nominee on your behalf because you're the beneficial owner, right? So a lot of people mistakenly believe that, for example, if they have assets held in the name of a nominee, that it's not really their assets and they don't have to report it, right? I've heard of so many stories where there's somebody that had, like when FATCA came out, right? There were so many people, so many Americans with foreign accounts, and they didn't want to have it reported, right? So they just went and put the account like in their sister's name, who was not a US citizen. Well, guess what? The sister's a nominee. It's not the sister's money. The sister's not holding the money for herself. She's holding it for you who are a US person. So it's really still your money. It's your asset. It's just a nominee. You have to report it. Likewise, and, and you see a lot of companies offer these nominee services when you go set up like an offshore company, for example, you can hire a nominee shareholder and a nominee director. And a lot of people mistakenly think like, oh, this company's in the name of a nominee. It's not mine. I don't have to report it. Wrong. You do have to report it because that nominee does not own that company and is not the director of that company in their own right. They're doing it on behalf of you. It's really your company and you're really the director. And so for tax reporting and legal reporting purposes, you need to treat it like that. So there are some reasons, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute, in, in limited circumstances, where having a nominee can be beneficial for business and privacy reasons. But that does not extend to, you know, dealing with the government, right? When, when you report your taxes or if you have to do like a legal disclosure of your assets or something like that, you need to disclose what you beneficially own, even if it's not in your own name. So nominees are not all what they're advertised to be. So this is a, a, a word to the wise. Be careful with nominees. 
Now, like I said, there's a few limited circumstances where having a nominee can be beneficial. And an example of that is, let's say, for example, you want to buy your a piece of land next to your house, right? But the guy that owns the land knows that you have money because you live in a nice house, you drive a nice car, you wear a gold Rolex. So he's not going to give you a good deal on the land, right? Because he knows you can afford more. So you go to your friend and you say, hey, why don't, I'm going to give you the money. You buy this land at a better deal on my behalf, right? And then after the purchase takes place, you transfer it back to me. So that's a situation where there's a business benefit to having a nominee, right? Because maybe your friend's kind of a, kind of a loser, right? And so he doesn't look like he has a bunch of money and so he can get a better deal on the property. So that's a legal way you can use a nominee to have a, a benefit, right? Um, but, you know, that's not a, a, a that, that is, a, is a business benefit rather than some sort of a illegitimate tax benefit or something like that. So to summarize, assets owned by nominees are still owned by you for tax and legal purposes. You need to treat them and report them as such, or you will face the consequences. And a lot of people think, oh no, I won't get caught. Well, remember the Panama Papers or the Paradise Papers or any of these other papers? There's leaks and there will be more leaks. You never know. You always get caught by the X factor, so it's better to do things right and sleep at night and not worry about it. There are some limited circumstances where nominees can be useful, like for example, like I just said, about you know, maybe being able to get a better deal on a piece of property or something like that. But you know, in terms of having to report that transaction on your taxes or for legal purposes, you still need to report that you're the beneficial owner of it. Anyways, if you have any questions about doing business, with nominees or in the name of somebody else, we can help. Just visit us on the web at esquiregroup.com or shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com. We'll see you in the next Esquire Group video. See ya.